Blood, Sweat, Tears Humankind's savagery knows no end. We have been destroying each other ever since the dawn of time. Unfortunately, it will never cease. Our bare hands and feet are the first weapons, refining techniques for over centuries to make the strikes more efficient, precise, lethal. Martial arts is rooted in discipline, yes, but its end product is often annihilation. Though combat sport has changed over the years to become safer, sanctioned, and mainstream, one truth will always remain. Whether your hands are raised in triumph or your head hangs low in defeat, after the fight, you will never be the same. Are you willing to take that risk for glory? Well, that was certainly a cold open. Unnecessary, but pretty epic. Well, Travis, hit the intro. <sighs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Persona, and welcome to the first episode of Snippet oh. Nostalgia. Yeah, it's been two months. Nope. I love procrastinating. Well, I just don't like being on camera. I'm camera shy, I'm sorry. <laughs> to briefly explain the series, I will be discussing pop culture stuff from my past, specifically music, film, television, and video games. Each category will have three videos each. Each, 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 each. Ichi san. <laughs> It'll have a and it'll, ha and it'll have a different theme each video. Uh, you'll see in future videos what I mean. For my first video, however, I will be talking about the first video game I have ever played. To do that, you have to go back 19 years to the town where my grandmother grew up in. Oh, and before I forget, I kind of want to make this into a challenge. So I challenge these three people to talk, discuss, play the very first video game they ever played. It doesn't have to be the same format as this video. They can do whatever they want, but core theme is the very first video game they ever played. Um, yes, the third one is a shameful cloud chasing bait, but yeah, like and subscribe. Anyway, back to the video. It was the summer of 2002 in the small town of Agno. Quite a peaceful town with good folk like fishermen and farmers. The house we stayed in was extra tranquil because it was next to a river. Every morning I would wake up and I would hear fishing boats peruse by with their quiet little motors. Ah, <sighs> paradise indeed. But I didn't give a shit about that. Our neighbor had a PS1. Much better than a river, I thought. They had a few cool games like Crazy Taxi and Crash Bandicoot. But the game that caught my attention was Tekken 2. I was hooked immediately, had colorful characters, astonishing backgrounds, and of course, two beings going at it like this. My favorite character from this era was True Ogre. You wanna know why? Because of this. when you're not really yeah extra crispy it's as if the dragon from shrek fucked shrek instead of donkey i need to get out more i couldn't get enough of it even though my mom tried to limit my playtime there was no going back i was addicted ever since that day whenever i entered an arcade and tekken was there i will play it too much i would spend all of my coins 
all of my tokens on Tekken. A game with no tickets. It does not give any tickets. <sighs> I'm a waste of space and money. Tekken 5 was a turning point from my playing days because I had two realizations. One, I actually enjoyed watching other skilled players play Tekken than me actually playing the game. Because of realization number two, I suck at fighting games. Not just Tekken, but fighting games. You know what's worse than watching a seal get clubbed? Watching me play Super Smash Brothers. Dre knows this because we both suck at Super Smash Brothers. It's fucking brutal. I was still having fun with my friends though. After school, we would go to the cafeteria and play so much that I often missed the bus home. Tekken 5 was also the game that introduced me to my favorite character of all time, favorite Tekken character of all time, Yoshimitsu. Why? Because he has a sword. That's it. Now that I'm an adult, what are the things that I like about it? Well, rather the new things that I like about it. Well, how simple the lore is. Each character has a reason for entering the King of the Iron Fist tournament. And they're all relatable. You know, you have Jin and his family with all their family issues. You have Martial Law wanting to get his life back together. You have Panda. There's time travel in the latest Mortal Kombat. What? It makes no sense. Stop it. The second thing I like about it, it's is the aesthetic. Yeah. Or aesthetic. As 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 tech. Hot chalk. As the aesthetic is it's not as serious as Mortal Kombat, but it's not as cartoony as Street Fighter. It's a good mixing of the two, and I like that. The third thing I like about it, it's kind of noob friendly. Anyone can enter the game and play it, no problem. It could be a negative for some people, and I will explain that later on. The fourth thing I like about it, it's the esports scene. I think it's my favorite esports scene ever. Yes, I like the CG sports scene, I like Dota, but fighting game tournaments are different, they're built different. It's grittier, it feels more underground, it smells. Apparently, people don't like deodorant or people don't use deodorant or soap. I understand you don't want to use deodorant, but soap's not that expensive, you know. Taking a bath is not that expensive. Sure, if you can't afford it, fine, but you can afford to go to a fighting game tournament, you can afford soap. I've seen that, I I've seen those entrance fees. It's not that cheap. And finally, the most important reason, or the biggest reason why I still love Tekken as an adult, Bob and Panda. Bob and Panda. Now the negatives. Like with many multiplayer games that have huge rosters, certain characters aren't viable competitively. Like certain characters, yeah, they're fun, but we're not gonna get you that far. The tier list effect, if you will. Team based multiplayer, even though a character is considered low tier, that character may fit in a system or a lineup that can be used to win a game. Whereas in fighting games, you're on your own, you have no team. So if that character sucks, and you're not that skilled, you're fucked. The second and most egregious thing about Tekken is the button mashing. It sort of ties in with the semi-noob friendly thing. There's a reason why it's noob friendly. You can win by just bushing, bushing? Bashing two buttons. Sometimes I would beat my friends with Christy and just pressing X and circle, like that. It's like I'm playing a piano. Yeah, those are the only two negatives I guess I have about Tekken. The rest are fine. Bob and Panda. Bob and Panda. Hashtag Bob and Panda. No matter how much Tekken has changed over the years, I still love it. It still has a lot of the things that I loved about it when I first played it. Interesting characters, a wonderful aesthetic, and fighting. Yeah, I'm still as shallow as ever. Personally, I don't think I'll ever get tired of Tekken. It's still fun. Heck, I may introduce it to my future kids one day. I love you Tekken, forever and always. That 
has been snippet of nostalgia.